Hi guys, and welcome to Let's Try Europa Universalis 4, a game where I, every time I launch this game, I forget how to play the game. So for the next 20 to 30 minutes, you are just essentially going to see me have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. So we'll dive in and, you know, single player game. And what I want to do is be Scotland, because duh, Scot, you know, Scottish, why not? Independent nation, King James is... <laughs> King James second shirt. Um, no idea how any of these stats or anything means. This this is off off to an excellent start. I know. Scottish ideas. Break the Black Douglas. The Douglas family was richly rewarded for their pride service during their wars. Um, blah blah blah. National unrest minus one. All right. This is like a lot of reading. Um, I assume it's all important stuff that I will deal with at some point or another. If not, then whatever. I'm just trying to adjust my volume and get it to a, a decent level just now. Um, yeah. Okay, Scotland. Sure. King James II, who is actually my 18th great-grandfather, according to my family tree. Which I have researched thoroughly, so that's just a cool fact for y'all. I am playing my 18th great-grandfather in a video game. Amazing. Amazing what you can do these days. I shall do him proud. If not, then... I will be glad that it's through in a legitimate line. Okay. What do I do now? Well... I guess we'll find out. Usually I like to switch over to political map mode just because it's easier for me to work things out. Okay, um... You can hire a free military leader. A free leader won't cost any military power and monthly upkeep cost. Um, okay, so if I remember rightly, it's one of these buttons, right? Like, I did go through the tutorial yesterday. But again, like I said, every time I launch this game, I forget how to play it. <laughs> uh... Um, what do I want? A general will cost you 50 military power. Can command your land units. The ability of your general depends on your army tradition. Admiral, which is naval units. Or general out of your ruler. So I'm assuming I want a general. That's what I'm going for. At least I'm committing, I'm committing to it now. Uh, we need a mission, so I think what I'll do is... When I went through a sort of tutorial, giving it a try the other day, uh, thing, I went for Improver Prestige, but I sort of want to form an alliance with Tyrone. Because I think that should be easy enough for me to be able to do. There's a lot of these disputed succession things, which I guess I'll deal with eventually. You have a free advisor slot. Uh, at any one time, your realm can have up to three advisors to help shape your development. You currently have vacancies in your court. Follow them and take advantage of the skills advisors offer. Okay, wait. Uh, your current monarch skills are three administrative, two diplomatic, and two military. I think I might want a military advisor. Okay, so we've got Robert Rayburn, a master recruiter. Finding bodies to fill out uniforms can sometimes be difficult work. The master recruiter knows all the tricks and will ensure that no one who should be serving can avoid it. Or Bruce Wisher, a commandant. The master driller, the commandant, set about the task of ensuring our troops are popular, properly drilled with seal. Looking at the number of complaints, uh, the la 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 la. Okay, I think I'll go for... Robert. Yeah. Should be fine, right? I actually have never noticed that little bit before. <laughs> Look, I've played maybe around... I think about... Well, Steam says, as of right now, about 8 hours of this game. I think I've maybe only played about 5 of it. As the rest is maybe I've tabbed out to go Google what the hell I'm supposed to do. And this game I can only really play when sleep deprived because it's suddenly like I can understand it better. 
but when I'm actually well rested, I'm like, huh, okay, I don't understand a single thing of what I have to do. Right, uh, yes, we still have three advisor slots, but I don't want to hire too many, because I think that would affect our gold, because we don't have much at the moment. I mean, we have 37, which I suppose is okay, but I don't want to be spending too much per month. And we've got too few rivals. You need at least one rival not to have a penalty to your power projection and score. Look, I'm a peaceful person. I say not having any rivals is a good thing, but apparently this game seems to think otherwise. So Scotland, we're kingdom, we're Catholic, no legal heir. Guaranteed by France, independence guaranteed by France. Has a mission to form an alliance of Tyrone, which I think I might be able to do via royal marriage, possibly? Tyrone's in, uh, Ireland, isn't it? <laughs> Please tell me it is. Knowing me, I'm going to embarrass myself not knowing geography. Okay, so we've got our economy screen, which I rarely ever look at because I don't pay much attention and this is why I'm terrible at these games. Uh, our balance is zero, minus 0 0.54. Um, we'll put the fleet maintenance down. So we're at least making a little bit of a profit, I think. Because I'm not too concerned about having fleets just now. And yeah, Ulster, Tyrone. Um, diplomacy. Alliance actions. We can offer an alliance. But I think I sort of want like a royal marriage, if it's possible. Is it relations? No. I can't remember how to do it. There it is. Uh, do you wish to request a royal marriage with Tyrone? This will bring our two realms together. Having one royal marriage will have the following effect in Scotland. Plus 0 0.10 yearly legitimacy. Improves relations by 1%. An increased chance of new air, 5%. I'll go for it. And then I'll need to remember to unpause the game. Um, I want to go back to Scotland, yeah. Okay, uh... Personality human, okay. <laughs> I'm guessing that's because if I click somewhere else it'd be personality balance, balanced personality. They'll try to strike a balance between war, diplomacy and trade. What about if I go somewhere else? Diplomat, okay. I've never actually looked at that before. So I'm human. Good to know. Currently have no active policies. Uh, our primary culture is Scottish which is in the British group. Let's see our trade. I've, I can never really understand the whole trade aspect or like the technology or anything. Basically, I don't understand anything about this game, but I'll work it out. I mean, should I have straight up just offered an alliance and then I could have got that mission done with? But I suppose I had to get married, right? Like, I need to get an heir. Okay, it's Catholic tolerance of the true faith one, tolerance of heretics minus one. Oh wait, hold on. Tolerance of the true Catholic faith. And then tolerance of the heathen beliefs is minus two along with the heretical heretical? I can't say words. Uh, Papacy view. No idea what that does. Papal state is currently in control of the Curia. Military, military, whatever. Okay, I want pause. And they're going to accept that. They've offered us an alliance and I'll accept. And we've entered a royal marriage with Tyrone. Our relations have improved. Um, sure. I'm okay with all, like, default pop-ups. Um, it's after this that I genuinely have no clue what to do. i done, like, a sort of test game the other day in Scotland, and from what I remember, I was just losing money constantly. And, because I tried to go to war with England, because I'm a girl with large ambitions, I'm just like, you know what? I'll go to war. I'll go to war with England. And I couldn't even afford like a military or anything like that, so I'm thinking 
try and build up as much alliances as possible and build up an army and then maybe we'll start heading down and take what we can. I tried to take Cumbria before. I think that's what I tried to do. Don't know, I don't remember. Um Yeah. Okay. Gained 10 prestige and 25 diplomatic power. So we can select a new mission. The old alliance. As long as there is an England, Scotland will be under threat. We have long maintained an alliance of sorts with France to secure ourselves against them. It's time to renew the old alliance. How do we do that? <laughs> France's opinion of Scotland is at least 150. What's their opinion of us now? How do we find out? Um, like, is that the total opinion of us? I think so. They're willing to trust us somewhat. Um, okay, I think I'll make that my mission. We'll gain one stability. Look, yo, France. Oh, Connet. Is that how you're, it's pronounced? I can't remember. Offers an, us an alliance. By doing so, we're promising to help each other in times of war. Okay. Although, these pricks over here... No offence if you, you know you're from these areas. I'm just talking about the virtual pricks in the game. Uh, in my last game, all sided with England in the war. So, y'all can go get to fuck unless they're going to help me this time round. <laughs> with my big ambitions. Um, diplomacy... I want to... I want you to like me. How do I get you to like me? Improve relation? I mean, we like them more than they like us. I feel like I'm trying to date France now. How do, how do I get France to like me? We'll send them, we'll send them, we'll send them a little text, you know, we'll just, we'll, we'll be a little, you know, coy. Just like, hi, how are you? Check, just checking in. Um, he'll improve our relations every month. Neutral relations are easier to change. Uh, sure. This relation can be improved by 96 more, estimated to be done March 1447. Jeez, that's going to take years, man. Um, I want you to like me, friends. We could, we could be buds. Go on air. Louis de Val... Ugh, I'm not even going to bother pronouncing it. We still don't have a legal air. Alright, is this paused? It is. We'll let time tick on as I work out what the fuck I'm doing. Alright, this dispute at succession thing, basically I have no idea what the fuck it means. The following countries lack heirs with decent claim. Countries which lack heirs with a strong claim may have their thrones claimed by a monarch with more prestige. You can only claim throne of a country you're in a royal marriage with. Claiming their throne might lead to a personal union or a war of succession over their crown. Okay, well I'm not in a royal marriage. Oh, a royal marriage offer from Connet. Um... Our legitimacy will change by minus two due to their inferior prestige and legitimacy. But having two royal marriages will have the following effects in Scotland. Our yearly legitimacy will go up. What is our legitimacy just now? Like, how do I find out? We're improving relations with France. We're improving relations with Leinster. Allied with Connaught and Tyrone. Royal marriage with Tyrone. Independence guaranteed by France. Blah blah blah. But I wanna... I know what the fuck I'm doing. Like... Ever. Like, whoa. <laughs> I have no idea. Should I? Like, is it a bad idea to do this? If our legitimacy is gonna go down by minus two? I mean, our stability is at zero, which doesn't seem good. I 
I should oh legitimacy. There we go. I should really like go through the tutorial again, even though I only done it yesterday. I mean, is that a hundred? It changes by zero point two five every year. So I'm guessing it doesn't go up by zero point two zero. It will actually go down to zero point two zero or yearly legitimacy if we take this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to decline it and you guys in the comment section can let me know if I, uh, fucked up. Not, to, not that it matters because I will probably forget how to play the game again the next time I launch it. And how are we doing money-wise? I feel like I should, uh, we need, to, I mean, we need to maintain our fleet because I think, aren't they doing trade stuff for us? Like, where is our fleet? Where is our ships? I don't know how to find them. I mean, it looks... Are we doing any trade things? We must be, because we're earning from it. Oh, boundary dispute. Oh, wait, it already auto-paused. The lack of good maps or tools to create accurate maps would occasionally lead to overlapping claims of, of authority in border regions. These disputes were usually over very marginal areas but could serve as point, point of friction when monarchs decided to press the issue. We could get a claim in Cumbria and England could gain diplomatic insult Cassis Bailey on Scotland and their opinion changes by minus 30. Or we could settle the issue and lose one stability and, and if I remember our stability is at zero anyway. So, already I'm faced off early with the issue. Piss off England or piss off possibly people in Scotland. And look, when faced with the option to piss off England, I should probably piss off England, shouldn't I? But then I'm not quite ready. Like, if they declare a war, I'm not really ready for that. We'll settle the issue. My king, I, I guessed. Our people are losing confidence in your government, leading to a stability drop. Some superstitious fools even suggest that our country is losing divine favour. Oh shit, our tax income. <laughs> okay, I made a bad choice. Global trade power and spy defence will decrease while our national, local and global unrest will increase. Look, y'all, I love you. Look, don't don't do this to me. I'm 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 playing like a larger game here. The people of Scotland. We're going to piss off England eventually. We just... It's, it's patience, my friends. Patience. I was like, why is there a fish icon down here? It's Aberdeen. That's, that sounded like it was an insult there, the way I said that. Why is there a fish icon? Oh, it's Aberdeen. So we've got Will from the Highlands. Fife is also fish, Ayrshire is iron, and Lothian is fish as well. Got a lot of fish here, don't we? Oh, Western Isles. I forget I forget that Western Isles exist sometimes. Storing away. They do some good black pudding up there. So I've heard, I've never actually had it. So I probably shouldn't be recommending things I've never had. Uh yes, fish. You can recommend fish. Fish is okay. Um I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like sitting here drinking my iron brew, staring at this game, going, what do I do now? Uh, it's still paused. I'll unpause it. But we're not earning much in the way of money. I was looking for something, wasn't I? I was looking for my boats. Like, where, where's my boats? I feel like we should really start focusing on getting some more military. I mean, there's our boats there. Novgorod huh? offers us an, us an alliance. By doing so, we're promising to help each other in times of war. I mean, who are you? Where are you? You're all the way over there. Um, I think I'm going to have to decline because, I mean, you're a bit far away and... 
I mean, no offence, but I don't... There would be a lot of effort for me to walk over there to try and help you. And they've used with distrust, so... Fuck it. Um... Anyway, boats, things. So we'll, our boats aren't act, like being used, basically. So I do I just get rid of them? Is that going to be like a really bad idea? Or should I not do that or not? I have no idea. How do I get rid of my boats? Oh my, this is like my Crusader Kings 2 Let's Try all over again. I just have problems with boats. Me and boats? Okay, disband unit. Um... I'll disband one of them. What does that do for our money situation? How do I check my money again? I should really learn the shortcuts. Oh wait, okay. Um. Yeah. I make such an interesting strategy let's player. Okay, our balances went up a fair bit because of that. And then I'm thinking maybe build our army, which is going to put our money down a little bit, but... We have five units of infantry and one units of cavalry. Infantry is cheaper. Um, oh, okay. My king, we have been informed by the commander of the guard in Lothian that England has been discovered fabricating a claim in our province, Aberdeen. Their efforts continue, but their reputation will suffer. <gasps> How dare you try and take Aberdeen away from me? Okay, we'll make some there. And fuck it, it'll be a big spender and we'll make some in Fife. That should be fine. And pause. I'll speed up time just a slight bit. And I might start trying to fabricate claims. Oh, and... In fact, do we not have a legitimate claim in Cumbria? Uh... Did I, did I like, imagine that? I'm starting to wonder if I imagined that. I mean, with no valid cast, it's belly. I'm probably not even pronouncing that right. We'll fabricate claim for Cumbria. If discovered, we'll gain 7.5 aggressive expansion. Risk of discovery per month is pi percent. And days until claim is fabricated, 365 days. Okay. I had a moment when I said pi percent, I was like... Please tell me 3.14 is pi. That would be so embarrassing if I got that wrong after I said it. I'm pretty sure it's pi. So let time tick on. We've uh, got some more men. I don't know whether we should spread out a little bit. How much are we paying for army maintenance now? Where's the treasury one again? I don't remember all the button things. Technology, trade, economy. 0 0.72, I mean, that's not so bad. I think I'll put the fleet maintenance down more, because again, we're not really using them, but I want to keep it there just in case, I think. Because God knows who they're allied with. In fact, I'll tell you who they're allied with. Are we able to find out? I don't know if we're able to find out. I mean, that should tell me I got company. I want to know about England. Okay, um... Okay, we definitely want to be friends with France. How are we going with France? Oh, one sec. Oh, oh it's paused already. I keep forgetting it does that. During the period 1450 to 1600, Italian siege engineers were highly sought after to teach the ways of the Trace Italienne to the militaries of Europe. 
In most cases, these engineers had no national identity and simply worked for whoever could afford to pay them. We can gain 40 military power and lose 7.39 gold. Got 25 as it is. Or we can decline and lose 10 prestige. Um, I really don't want to take the prestige hit, to be honest. What's our military power? We'll hire the engineer. Um, so what did I need for my mission? Oh, so I can actually select a country as my rival. I can make Denmark my rival. I like Denmark. Why would I want to do that to Denmark? Uh, how do I see what my mission was? At least 150 and it's at 75, so we'll let time tick on. France, we're going to be like best friends forever. We're just going to be like, ah, oh, so close. We'll just, you'll, you'll love me so damn much. It's just, God, God, France. And now we wait while I <laughs> have no clue what I'm doing still. We're just not doing too bad for the money anyway. Um, oh, I'm still in France. I want to know about Scotland again. Like, how do I get an air? Do I just have to wait pretty much? I think it is just like a waiting game to get an air. Hurry up and have six, 18th group granddad. <sighs> Counting on you here. Um, our money for trade's going up actually. Oh, it's went back down. Never mind, nor me. What, what do I know? What do I know about European Universalis? I know nothing. Um... I'm just like clicking around hopelessly. <laughs> I still have no idea what their general opinion of us is. Just 88. It's going to take us a long, long time to get there. And I have no idea how else to get them to like us. We have no diplomats to send. Where is our diplomats? Oh yeah, because one's fabricating claims, right? And the other is in France already. Oh shit. Um, We've gained the conquest, cast a spell against England to take Cumbria. Tyrone has declared war upon their enemy, Connaught. And Connaught is requesting that we come to their aid in Tyrone. This is a defensive war where we need to help our ally. Tyrone is allied with Leinster and Munster. Or Minster. Is it Munster or Minster? <sighs> um, I mean, we're allied with Tyrone as well. And we entered the royal marriage with Tyrone. Leinster's got a positive opinion of us as well. Or no, they're improving relations with us. Um, but we'll lose a lot of prestige if I decline. Prestige that I really can't afford to lose. Uh, I don't want to piss off Tyrone. I'm sorry. Oh, I have to. I have to just commit to my decisions. This is why I'm horrible at these games. I follow up like decisions with "I'm sorry." That's how I'm going to go to war to England. I'll just be apologising the entire way. Um, so we have claims for Cumbria that we can press. Um, they tell us about the event, the War of the Roses, where among the possible options they went with support the House of York as their choice faction. 
Well, thank you for that, England. They don't really give a shit, but thank you. Okay, I'm thinking we might need more men. Um, but maybe wait until the war... This war's over. With them. They still love us. Um, but... Connet, not so much. Um... I just want to. I just want to make people love me. <laughs> That's all I want in this game. I just want people to love me. We're allied to Leinster's rival. How can I get you to love me? We've one diplomat available. Lennox Keith is still working in France. To improve the relation. Our relationship with France has been improved by 69. Wink wink. How else can you improve relations? Um, this relation can be improved by 31 more. We've got Robert Campbell free. And I want to keep Tyrone on side. Um, but I, th I can offer an alliance with Leinster. And they'll accept. And then I think focus on getting some more military units built here. I honestly have no idea how much I'm going to need when it comes to going to war with uh... I mean, I know I spent quite a bit there. But when it... I mean, all I want is Cumbria. That's all I want is Cumbria. Um, but I'm waiting... I'm basically playing a waiting game until I can get France to love the shit out of me. Support the House of Lancaster. A civil war over the succession to the throne in rage is raging in England, a conflict that has become known as the War of the Roses. The revolting House of Lancaster is seeking foreign aid and is sent as with envoy with a request for troops. Should they succeed in claiming the throne, our help would surely be remembered in increased relations between England and Scotland. We could really use to gain from the prestige. We can't send them any money, and I'm pretty sure we can't afford the manpower, to be honest. Our stability's still down. I mean, we could afford the manpower, but I'm gonna go to war with them eventually, so we can piss off England. Right, France, how we doing, buddy? Munster offers us an alliance. Okay, I assume that's gonna be fine. France, 102. Still won't accept, ex accept an alliance with us. Or a royal marriage. You'll love me one day, France. I, I mean, it's impossible not to love me, really. What do we need again? 150? We're so close. We'll just... Time can tick on very, very quick. And I'll just have a quick look around the map. See what's going on in the world. I wonder how it's going over here with you is. Oh, oh, oh. Relations deteriorate with England. With the rebellion of the House of Lancaster finally crushed, England has now turned his attention to those who supported the revolt both internally and externally. England's opinion of Scotland changed by minus 50. Well, England, you can go fuck yourself. Herald from England to tell us... Of the end of the War of the Roses, the armed conflict over the succession to the English throne is finally over. How do they feel about us now, England? <laughs> Minus 168. But they're still willing to trust us somewhat. And we're just like minus five of them. We're 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 just sort of okay with them. They just hate us. Oh, 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 a royal marriage offer from Minster. Munster. Tyrone has announced Leinster as their new rival. So it really is kicking off over there just now. Ha so it looks like... Ulster has took Connet. Tyrone's took Connet. Yeah. And then I think they're going to go after Leinster, who we have an alliance with. This is going to be interesting. 
Anyway, if we take this, or your leg legitimacy again will be 0 0.20. And again... What's our year legitimacy now? Changes by 0 0.91. So we could use a plus 0 0.20 boost if it is a plus boost. Again, I'm not really sure how it works. Um, okay, you know what? I'll do it. I might regret it, but I'll do it. Oh, Leanster as well. God, everyone wants to marry me. Legitimacy will change by minus three. Nah, I can't remember what it did, it did with uh, Minster, Munster. You'll notice if I don't know how to pronounce something, I'll pronounce it like a few different ways each time because one of them is bound to be right in the end. Hopefully. What's going on over here? Occupied by English pretender rebels, Lancashire. Okay, how's it going with my buddies over in France? 124. Still not willing to do anything though. France. Look, we've been having this back and forth thing for a while. Um, improvements in production technology. The reports of farmers and miners being more productive than local bailiffs expect them to be. We should investigate if there's something that the entire nation of Scotland can benefit from. Gain 0 0.50 inflation. It's red. Is that bad? <laughs> I'm assuming that's bad. But we gain 50 administrative power. Um, or we can use caution and gain only 10. I'm pretty okay with our administrative power, so I'll just go for 10 and use caution. I can just picture so many people watching this and be like, You're doing it all wrong! You're playing so wrong! What are you doing? Um... My king, we have stopped trying to improve relations with France due to reaching maximum improved relation value of 100. The diplomat will remain in France to maintain relations until recalled. Okay, we'll maintain it, but I have no idea how to improve it beyond him. Beyond this. We need at least one more positive than negative. How do we... How do I improve it? Like, if I stopped and then said, oh, wait, 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 they'll accept the royal marriage. Marry me, France. Yes, a relation has improved. It's all I wanted, France, after all that 69 and it's about time. We've gained one stability, too, from the old alliance. And we're at 150 because we've done that, so woohoo! Um, I wonder, will they, ex they do the thing now? We recently sent a diplomat, okay, um, they'll do the thing. But whether they would actually come and help me when it comes to taking Cumbria, I have no idea. Okay, we can create a proper fleet, but I don't want to do that just yet. We can solidify our papal relation or we could advance the frontier, which would be... They want to take Northumberland. I've been focused on Cumbria, but I suppose what I can do is... Fabricate claims there in Northumberland, which will take a year, but I'm willing. I'm willing to wait. I waited that long for France to love me, and we'll go for that. On pause, let time tick by quite a bit. We're not doing well in the way of money right now, actually. I think we're losing money. Um, probably because of the... The things. Yes, army maintenance. Put the army maintenance down just now. Just so we can get a little bit of money in. I wonder how long it's going to take so we can get uh, claims for our Northumberland. I can't remember when I started. I think it was either March or May. It was a month beginning with M.
Your claims and prophecies you do not own. You have claims on Cumbria, Lancashire, Yorkshire, and Northumberland. Wait. I already have a claim in Northumberland? What? So can I... Declare war? Oh, I can. Take Northumberland. Okay. But France will not be called into war. No one's going to be called into my war. Because they're already at war with England. How do I get the others to like me though? To go to war with me? Because they can call in Portugal, Austria and Leinster. And they'll most likely accept. And I'll most likely get my ass kicked. Um, hey Tyrone, buddy. You, you want to talk, buddy? Um... Improved relations, possibly? I mean... I have no idea if that's go what's going to help if we want to go to war. Like, I have no idea. I mean, we, can't, we have no diplomats to use just now anyway. Um, December 1452 is such a long time. Okay, stop improving it. And I think I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> I think I've just, I've reached that point where I'm like, you know what, we'll do something interesting for the video and get my arse kicked. Because no one, no one's going to. No one's gonna come. I know they won't. But don't say I didn't try. Um, the traitorous Leinster has refused to join us. Treacherous Munster, treacherous Tyrone, those bastards. Um, Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> I should have paused there instead of like sitting here trying to work that how how to do this. Fuck. Um. Yeah. Our ports are blockaded. I was so busy staring at the ship. I was like, "Fuck." Um, I've done this wrong. All right, I'm getting my ass kicked. I'll accept it. Battle of Lothian, we lost. My troops are backing the fuck away and to be fair I don't blame them. But um I need I need men. Battle of Ayrshire we lost. Oh my god. They're like sieging us. Oh my god, no. I should have I should have oh, our army maintenance as well, I should have put that back up. I'm going to take a loan and it's going to take us so long to get men though. I knew it was a bad idea yet I still insisted on doing it. I did it, I did it for you guys, okay. Did this, I did this for you guys. You're just hiding out up at Aberdeen. Um. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough men. Your units have suffered casualties. Can raise war taxes. But I I don't think I should do that. I've no idea. Minus seven war score. I need what well, I all I need is men. I want men. That's all I want in life. 
as men to fight by my side. <sighs> We're not gonna get enough men. Like, I have no idea what to do with the, like, these, this boat. Oh, apparently we're going to fight them. Okay. I had no idea what I was doing there, but okay. Um, our free trade policies. Uh, sure, we gained a trader. We lost the battle with the Firth of Fourth. Uh, I'm not I know. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, hey, England. England. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am. Um... I had to. My king, we have lost the siege of Lothian. England now controls the province. Oh, but good news! Henry's heir to the throne. Ah, oh, you bastard. Um. I mean, we haven't actually sued for peace. Uh. Look, you know what? We could still turn this around. We could, st we could still turn this around, okay? I... I'm a positive thinker. Where the fuck have all my men went? Genuinely have no clue what's going on right now. I'm just gonna let the war play out. <laughs> I've, I've gave up as king. Just fuck it. England, take me. I'm yours. Speed up time. So yeah, this is a game that gets recommended that I play in live stream because people can teach me, you know, what to do and stuff like this. And I do like the thought of that, but with the Twitch delay, it can make it a little bit awkward. Um, yeah, we've lost the Siege of Ayrshire. Surprise, surprise. Look, how about I just give you my land, okay? You've, you've already, you've bent me over, you've fucked me. You can have it all now. New rivalry. France has announced... whatever. My king, we were sad to discover that France has revoked their guarantee. Well, we don't need their help anyway. Uh, Castile, France is... la 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 la. We've lost the Siege of Fife. I'm just watching this play out now. Hilariously. I'm getting a lot of frame rate drops as it's going on. I think just because of the speed that I'm playing the game at. I was not ready for war. I mean, I highly doubt England's going to concede defeat. <laughs> like, they took all that land and I'm like, you know, maybe you, m you might want to concede defeat. We have lost the Siege of Aberdeen. Yeah. We've taken a loan. France has declared war or something something. Oh my god, okay. Um, province has entered a new military alliance with our enemy, Austria. England has sent us two peace offers. We've received a peace offer... An offer... <laughs> We've received an offer of peace. Um, Scotland will become a vassal of England. Scotland will annul all treaties with France. It will cost England 50 diplomatic power. And England gains 14 prestige and suffers 17.3 aggressive expansion it will give us minus 14 prestige is it just the same thing here um scotland will pay 17 gold so basically this seems like the better deal <laughs>
We've gained the independence, Cassis Belly, against England. We deserve independence. Defend the capital, Lothian. Look, I think I've learned one thing. I'm not a very good king. <laughs> oh. I tried, guys. On the plus side, um, I, I have no idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that helps any. Uh, I genuinely have no clue what's going on now. Like, what I am, what's happening. I have no idea how to turn this around. We can invest in new technology. Our truce will expire with Portugal, Austria. Baden, Baden, Leinster, and England, and with no mission. Um, okay, I think this is where I'm going to wrap up this part here. This was, well, this part, this video, because I don't really intend on playing anymore, but at least, like, on uh, camera. God, I'm awful at this game. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I love you all. Bye!